that a lot of things that we want to do, a lot of places we would like to go, a lot of things we would like to experience, and we just stop at but, and we build a case. In fact, I was reading something the other day that, that talked about but. It says but is an argument for our limitations, and when we argue for our limitations, we get to keep them. See, but will cause you to procrastinate, but will cause you to hide out behind fear, but will cause you to come up with all type of excuses that you can validate your inaction and not acting on your dream. And right now, more than ever, people need to look for ways to live their dream. People need, need to look for ways to make it on their own. There is no such thing as job security. There's no such thing as a storm-proof or tragic-proof life. There are no guarantees today, ladies and gentlemen. The illusion is gone. There was a time when, when we graduated from high school, you're told, go to college and get out, and you go and work for a corporation for 30 or 40 years, they'll give you a go watch and you'll retire. Special announcement, that day is gone. <laughs> that day is gone, never to return again. So instead of people living in fear, feeling stressed out, feeling powerless, feeling like victims, I think it should be a time that we need to begin to look at ways that we can become an active force in our own lives. Look at ways when we can decide to take charge of our own destiny. Look at ways when we can decide to design a life of substance and begin to truly live our dreams. And it's time for people to decide, I'm ready to get on with my life. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left. A guy named Bob May say, they say don't let nobody turn you around. Do that right quick. Now, you know, a lot of people say, I'm going to live my life one day when things get right. When I get all my bills paid. When I get my feet on the ground. I say, what have you been walking on? <laughs> See, there are no problem-free moments. A guy named Dimples had a record one time called, if it ain't one thing, it's another. And I say, if it ain't one thing, it's 12 others. Always something there to build a case on why you can't move on, why you can't grow to the next level, why you can't begin to manifest your greatness, why you can't begin to live life on your terms. Always something there to block you, to keep you where you are and keep you from beginning to develop your true greatness. Always some fear. How do we handle it? And I'm saying that if you've been hiding out behind but, if you've been using the fact that you don't have enough money or you don't have the education, take it head on, go get the education. I was saying to a guy the other day who was saying, he, he, I said, how old are you? He says, 47 years old. I said, your sister tell me that you can't read. He said, that's right. When you win, see, if I win a debate, I win because of what I know. When I lose, I lose because of what I don't know. So I had to check out what is it that I did not know. I wasn't prepared. I did not do enough research. I did not do my homework. So he handled me like he wanted to. So I came back again. I waited on some other legislation, did my whole work, but he was more than able to take me out again. But pretty soon, each time it would take him, it would become a little bit more difficult and a little bit more difficult. And the older guy said, would you argue in behalf of this legislation for me? I said, sure. I started volunteering to do work in the legislative committees for the older guys. I said, absolutely. And the more I did it, the better I became. And then people began to start respecting me. And when I would ask and say, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to speak on that bill, some guys' lips start trembling and stuff, like Jimmy. I don't know. Wait a minute. Is there anything wrong?